Let us continue Final Fantasy The White Mage Challenge. Right, during the last encounter we had a couple of people levelling. White, thankfully, gained some more strength, so the Master Moons are slightly more effective. We need every point of strength we can muster. Uh, Shaman gains hit points, which is why um, she's not quite at maximum. Priest still has um, a couple of um, points to go. Unfortunately, never encounter one step away. Yeah. Nomas! Huzzah! Let's slice them in half and cause immense damage with flame. Oh, the lash is healing stuff. Ugh. You still hit us hard. But now we know your weakness. You burn. Quite badly, actually. Do, 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 do. Right, attack and healing staff. Healing helm. Right, great. Oh, and unfortunately the massive goes before everything, so no healing. Small amount of experience, small amount of gold. Let us continue. Now, Leich, we're going to try and beat. Ooh, glitchy clay golems, but they are just clay golems. And thankfully they're casting haste on themselves. Okay, let's go Massamin. White Robe, Healing Staff, and... This may not be the best opponents to do this on because they do hit quite hard. However, if we keep White Robing as well... Yeah, I've, I've been against stacking, um, stacking items like that, but we kind of need the hit points if we're going to do it this run round. So we're going to keep stacking White Robe until there's no way they can hit us, hasted or not. And we'll let White just um, tear them apart. So our evasion goes up by 80. Now also, I think I missed another one of the, um, I think I missed a, a protective item um, on the way down last time, so I'll try to remember to pick that up this time. So I think there's another one of the um, shield cloak thing that um, White actually has. And if that's true, then we can at least raise the defense of one other white mage. And it's probably going to be Healer. Or... Nah. The reason is, I would give it to Shaman, because obviously Shaman needs it. But, when it's, I'm not sure it would help enough. Therefore, giving it to Healer or Priest is a better bet. Right, now that you're down to that. Ah, there we go. Block. Now you can start healing. Robe and healer can start attacking. But the white mage party is now suitably above 400 hit points. Which is what we need if we're going to fight Leich. Once we're safe on this front, we will just uh, launch on that attack, but. We might as well get as close to full hit points as we can here. In fact, that'll do. Priest should also level from this fight, I think. Okay, let's go. All out attack. Ah, I kind of miss Majolnir being an attacking weapon, but... Against things like Kraken, we could do with um, double lightning powers. Right, so just restored to full hit points. So these are going to be... No, oh, actually, they're not bad. We can deal with these. Attack. Venom Blade. Mage Staff. Force Hammer. Yay, your mighty six damage. And your ineffective gaze attacks. Do, do, do. One. I'm not sure what the percentage is on the Venom Blade, but yeah, it's, it's good enough to be used against a group like this. So it certainly wasn't worth selling. And I'm 
sure I've got it worth on dragons before. Anyway. Priest is getting the level. Seven hit points. Strength up. Intelligence up. Okay, they're important. So, let's just check status-wise here. Level... Actually... I, didn't, I should have checked what actually we got, but I think, looking at Priest... No, he's just used one, so... Uh, I'm not sure if he got any new spells. Hmm. Oh well, no worries. Alright, here we go. Well, not yet. Hopefully you're something easy, though no, you're not, you're gnomers. Alright, let's mage staff you, let's go healing staff and healing health, because we're undoubtedly going to do lots of damage to us now. I kind of wanted those to go last. Ah oh, well. One hit for 52, mage staff. See, now I want the um, healing staff to go first. Or he let me go first. I don't mind. Right. So we have most of our spells intact. If we can deep light with most of our spells intact afterwards, we should be in good shape. Man, you are very glitchy today. Okay, let's use White Rube. He's undead, so flame should be effective. And let's go with Paws Hammer. It's whatever defensive item we can get now. Oh, that's why we didn't do a lot. That's worrying. Right, we're going to keep attacking the, the Mass Moon. So hopefully that was just a fluke. <laughs> so we needed to do a lot here. I'd rather not use my holy spells against this thing. I think we're going to switch to Dyers now. That's better. 253. Oh god, Flare. Right, well that's going to do... I think that's critical damage we can call that. So, so much for doing this without healing. I'm white to keep attacking. Right, so let's go... Your four on yourself. Dire four. Dire two. Oh, and it stops well. But that should only affect one of us if it affects us at all, and it didn't. Dire four. Ninety one. Uh. I'm rather irritated that we've had to use seven level spells against him, but. At the very least, we've still got all our holies intact, and Priest is up. Full hit points. Attack. Now Priest can use up Dire 3, actually. Shaman use Dire 3, and we'll have Healer use a Dire 2. Need to take him down now. Cast Flare again, we're in trouble. G20, there we go. Right, one down, four to go. Five hundred experience, one gold. And we progressed to the second basement level. Now, let's think about how we're going to restock this. Cure free. Cure free. We could hope for some easy enemies and try and abuse the healing items again, but... Let's use up a heal free. That puts us more or less there. Let's just see what see what happens. Now... If I remember rightly... Oh, lava worms. Which strike first and... Uh, Actually, they're not doing that much damage. I think we can afford to do um, to waste healing on this one. Healing staff, 
Healing Helm, and White Road. Rah for pathetic healing, which will save us in the end. Right, one down. And hopefully the evasion increase will mean we can actually just slice through them. Healing stuff, healing helm, white robe. We can get through Marilith without... Uh, the problem with Marilith is she's immune to most of the elemental... Well, not immune, but she's not um, weak against any of the elemental stuff. Might be able to silence her again, but... I don't know. I don't think all that worked the last time we faced her, actually. Um, Let's actually just use a um, black robe just to get that last one down. Healing staff and healing help. It's a cheap way to get to full hit points, but we need to use these cheap methods now. Yep, you're dead. Healing staff. Attack. Healing staff, healing helm, white robe. And the Lava Worm is dead. Healing staff now come in. Well, we're better shaped than we were actually, so I suppose that's, there's that. Let's cast a Cure Free on the Priest just to top his hit points up. Healing Helm. Yeah, that'll put everyone above 400, assuming the cure free results first. Yeah, it does. Okay. 1671. Now, I was fairly certain there's a door here. Well, there was an item around here, anyway. Maybe there isn't. I thought there was, according to the map, but I might be actually down and through, which which case I can't really um, do a lot about that. Which is a shame, give me a moment. Sorry, I've got maps open, so I'm just making absolutely sure of that. Yeah. If I go round, I can do it, but I don't really want to go round, I think. Anyway. So, white kill the fire gigas, black robe, healing helm, and healing staff. Yeah, that did quite a lot of damage. Could probably have afforded to get away with just using items here, but we'll take whatever healing we can get, certainly. Two damage. It's really good for once, the White Mage Party doing more damage than everything else that opposes us. There's no fire lizard gone. Hopefully the healing starts will resolve first. Do, do, do. Number 20, healing helm, and then the fire lizard should not survive another ice spell. Fire Lizard are defeated. 1600 experience, 4000 gold. So, where we want to go then is up and around. Is it? No. Oh, I remember this from last time actually. Ugh. Yes, we do go up and around, but we go right up and around. One Fire Gigas versus the White Mage Party. I don't fancy your chances. Not when we got the Massamoon. 
Much your presence is appreciated, so we can go and do some healing. Why we can't use these off-screen, I don't know, but... Actually, can we? That'd be really weird, but I don't, I don't think we can. And ow. Oh well, we take revenge on against the um, damage we dealt. Ah, uh, got dealt. Not a lot of experience, but we're not bothered about experience particularly at this stage of the game. Free Pyrus. Black Robe. Gauntlets. Just be safe and a healing now. Because I think we need these dead. additional spell damage is important. Black room. Priest is... Well, I guess Priest is okay, really, yeah, point-wise. Healing Staff, Healing Helm, Light Robe. Right, now there's one of them. So we can get a couple of rounds of healing in before um, killing that off. Yep, we're going much slower this time around, but we're at least keeping our hit points up. And more importantly, our spell slots. Attack, healing staff, healing helm, attack. Do, 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 do. Right, then we face Marilith and see if we can hunt down those last defensive items to get us through the rest of this. And Massive hits for 300. I love the blade, really. The one sword the White Mages can use. But it's a good one. Now, if we go up there... Uh, actually, let's flee. We're more or less full hit points, so we can afford to flee from that. Now, if we go down and um, explore those two areas, I think there's a couple of chests we can pick up here. But unfortunately, there are encounters blocking it. Two lava worms. Attack, flee, flee, flee. Nope, we managed to flee, so that's fine. There we go, chest. Not guarded. Protect ring. Fortunately, we have a full set of protect rings, so that's worth us. It's the other one we wanted then. Uh, flee. Oh, actually, no. Attack. Flee. Flee. Black Road. I want to flee, but if in case I don't, uh, it's nice to have things set up so that I can actually fight them. Oh, yeah. I forgot where the door was, despite the fact it was open. Red Dragons. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Attack. Black Robe. Gauntlets. Force Hammer. No chances here, but I'm kind of regretting not going directly for Marilith because we're going to have to now heal. 216 damage to Shaman because he doesn't have the. Uh. Why did they only make three ribbons in this game? Which makes one of our party completely useless against spells. Yeah, well, keep blasting those red dragons. and items healing stuff, I think. Black Robe does kill one of them. Massive kills another. One dragon left, although he's gonna... He's just taking a big chunk out of Priest. And the final red dragon falls. 3,000 experience, 1,600 gil. 16,000 gil, rather. And another random encounter, which is a preemptive strike. We shall use that to go healing staff, healing helm, black robe, and flee. So I don't particularly need to fight these guys. I would like my hit points restored, though, so we'll do that. And healer thankfully gets us running away. Right, now here, Protect Cloak, okay. Now who do we want to equip this to? 
Priest has slightly more evasion than the rest of the others, so he can have the Protect Cloak. Which means all his evasion goes down, but it's now comparable to the rest of them. Okay. You have a spare cure free, so you can go back up a bit. And you can go heal free on Priest as well. Right, let's get to Marilith, and then let's begin the fight. Uh, fire lizards, actually. Use right, I shall use this fight to get my hit points up to full, and then next time we shall fight Marilith. So, hopefully this will work. And shooting it does until then. Let us continue playing Final Fantasy The White Mage Challenge. Now, we face on the second theme, the first random encounter. During which we will actually slice you up because the other one only attacks, really. During which we might as well just heal up a bit here because Sharma took a bit of a um, bit too much of a battering. We didn't fully heal him. And file is survives. That's annoying. Well, it's not as if it's too much of a stretch for us to now restore all the hit points, so... Right, finish off you. Black robe. Healing staff. And healing helm. Fire Lizard's defeated. 35 damage. Hopefully the healing resolves first, but if it doesn't, it's not a disaster. Yeah, victory is ours. Some more experience, some more gold. And more importantly, through here, we face Marilith. Now, let's just consider what spells we got here and what we might need to use. We have... Right, we have one cure free, buddy. Oh, we're into mass spell rationing mode now. Cure two. Twice. Alright. That should do. Okay, Marilith, let's take you down. Attack. Items. White robe. Probably need to use that multiple times, but we're going to go black robe and then we'll go. Then we will go Boar's Hammer. What I will then do is put up a Null Flame, because I didn't do that. Mind you, I think randomly White has it. Oh, well, hopefully the Murasami, the yeah, Massa Moon Blade, will do um, a reasonable amount of damage. Hopefully it calls into a Holy. That's what we're hoping, and I think that's about right. Now you have Null Fire. Does anybody else have Null Fire? That's a bit of a failing on our part, really. I don't want to waste, um... Doesn't mean we're out of cure twos, really, but... Yeah. Right, Force Hammer. White Robe. And a Healing Helm. Let's undo some of that damage. One hit doing... Oh, four hits doing 112 damage. We need our um, agility up a bit here. So I might have a round of blinking. Important thing, as I've said, save our um. There we go. Save the holy spells. 112. Okay, shaman and priest should now be immune to most of the physical attacks. We'll then get priest to try and silence her. Reaper won't hurt us at all. Go for a silence, because you might as well. Uh, now nah, we'll go Black Robe, and we'll go Force Hammer. You can silence her, it might be useful, but... Oh yeah. I know originally she could, and I can't remember us being successful last time we faced her in this um, environment. Thing is, we're doing about 
close to 200 around if we keep this up. So, Force Hammer. New staff won't work, will it? Probably not, but we'll use it anyway. And that rope. If we keep our hit points up, we'll do okay. Doobie doo, doobie doo, doobie doobie doo. Fire free should do half. I might get healer's cast to heal two because of that. Maybe I should. All right. I think actually, considering how little damage we're doing, why can keep attacking? Healing staff, healing helm, black rope. See if we can actually get more hit points out of this match. Not if she's going to attack like that, but. I don't really have to either pass the link or something. Yeah. Wing helm and another white robe. Reaper! And that will fail. But we don't mind, because it means our hit points are going to restore overall for this round. Meanwhile, we'll keep attacking you with our Sword of Doom. I went to attacking items and healing there, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Oh well, no worries. We'll just do slightly more damage this round. Against Kraken, um, hopefully having two lightning attack effects plus the Massive Moon, Means that one should be quite simple. Oh, yay, missing. We like that. Healing staff. Healing helm. And force hammer. Ooh, only 68 that time around. Still, our hit points are climbing, so that's good. Oh, she's been really. I don't know where her defense fluctuates, but her defense seems quite high this round. Attack. Force Hammer. Mage Staff. Healing Helm. Yeah, that was about as expected, really. Still, every little bit helps. 82. So that's another 100-ish this round. She has, I think, around 1600 this time. Yeah, she's really not in um, a position to be a threat to us now. We'll keep the healing up, but yeah, there we go. And so we end the match with seemingly more hit points than when we started. Two minutes. <laughs> 